Hi, Paul C for WP Tets, and this is just a very, very quick video. The beta version of Elemental Pro 2.10 has just dropped, and with that is the first look at the new multi-step option, which is the community requested new feature that the, uh, the developers at Elemental asked for input, and this is what came back. So this is not an in-depth video tutorial because I don't think you need it because I think the new edition, if you've used Elemental Pro and you've built some forms, this just adds some extra features into it. So I'm going to give you my first look at it, give you my first impressions and what I think is good and what I think we really need to make the forms totally usable and something that I think would make it a great way of being able to get rid of extra plugins that you may have to use for advanced form functionality. Anyway, let's take a quick look. I've got a basic page in front of me and I'm just going to get rid of this annoying title at the top. So all we've got is this area that we're going to drop in the form. I'll make a bit of space at the top and bottom just so we open up a little bit of space in there. And we'll just drag the form option into there. So let's just find the pro options and we'll just grab the form element. Drop that inside there and we've got our normal form with our name, email and message. Now, if we take a look at the various different fields that we have available, and just quickly, let me get rid of the label because it really annoys me. Um, if we click to add a new item, we'll add a new item in there, item four. And if we take a look at the type, we now can expand that. And one of the new things we have inside there is step. So what we can do is we can click to add a new step in, and you can see that immediately adds the step that we wanted. Now, there's a bit of a graphical weird thing going on here, but it is still the beta. And we've got item one at the top and item five at the bottom. So it's automatically added in the first step for us. We can click, open that up, and you can see currently there's no label, previous button, next button, or icon. We can set those values. If we take a look at the form, you can see we have step one, which is what this first item is. And then the new item that we've added, which is item number five, is step two. So what we can do is we can give these labels. So what we can say is that this is going to be basic. So we'll say basic info and you can see that now gives us the one on there for the step and also the title that we've just given it we can have previous buttons next buttons we can put the text inside there if we want to add icons in we can do so now what we need to do is simply reposition the different form fields into the order that we want so for example if we want the message to be the second part of our form because currently we have nothing in there we simply drag that down underneath our new item five which becomes item four we can come in and rename that and we'll just put the label in there of message. And you can see now that's taken the message field and moved that over to the final step. So let's just hit update on this or save if we were creating a new page. And let's just preview this to see where we are. So we can click. You can see now we have basic info, step one, name and email. So let's just put the details inside this. We'll put my name in. And we'll just put a fake email address in just for ease. So no at email.com, probably the most well-used email address in the world. Click on next. That now takes us over to stage two, which we can put our message in. And we now have a previous button to jump back to the previous stage. And we've got the send button, which we can use. So that's at its most basic level. That's what you have. But obviously we can do more. We can fine tune this. We can refine it and take a look at those things next. Okay, so just quickly disable dark mode so you can see these two sections because obviously it's having a bit of a bit of a, a dicky fit with the beta version. So what can we do? Let's come in and let's take a look. So we've got content and we have advanced, all the normal things inside. So we can use short codes. We could drop in ACF fields in here like I've showed you before. All those kinds of things are in there. So building the form is no real difference to what we've already seen. We just have the ability to drop in those steps and then reposition whatever we want inside there. What we also have though now is the steps settings. Click and open that up and you can see we can choose how we want to display the stages of the form that we're working with. Now we've got a very simple example, but we can go through and change these. We've got the type and we can take a look and there's a range of different types. So just text on its own with a guide bar, just an icon if we wanted to. We can just put whatever icons inside there we want, setting those up inside the form fields, inside these relevant different areas. So. You can see we could click on there and we could choose something different from there. So it's very simple to set those up. The step settings come back in. We can just say we want to use something like a progress bar, which personally I think is a nice way of doing things on there. And you've got numbers and text. You've got icons and text. 
it's up to you how you want to format those. And then depending on what you choose, you can change the shape of that. So we could have squares, we could have rounded, we could have none at all, just having the icon on its own. So nothing really complex inside there to set things up and tweak and fine tune and get it to work the way you want. So on top of the steps settings, we also, if we jump over to the style section, we now have a new stage inside there where we can edit the steps themselves. So we can adjust the typography, the icon size, if you want to make those larger or smaller. We can set the active, inactive, completed, those kinds of things, the colors and those, all those good things. Dividers, all the normal things you'd expect inside any kind of styling as part of Elemental. So it's really nothing earth shatteringly different. There's no groundbreaking things inside here, but what it does have, and which we always expect from Elemental, is easy implementation. You can simply create a form in the way that you're totally accustomed to, and then you can style it, you can add multi-steps, and you can set all those kinds of things up to make it look any way you want. As always, I really appreciate how simple a lot of these things are when it comes to Elemental Pro and Elemental. Now, the one thing that I do think is missing that I would love to see, and hopefully this is something that they will bring at some point, is conditional logic. We'd love to see conditional logic inside the forms because it means then once we can add conditions inside there, we could basically do away some third-party plugins for forms if we're working with Elemental Pro. This is something that I really think that would open up a ton of opportunities. And like I say, any way that we can remove the need and reliance upon a third-party plugin to do something that for a lot of pe people is a fundamental area is a good thing. That being said, like I say, it's very, very simple to work with. Really is a good option to have as part of things inside you. And if you do work with longer format forms, just be able to simply drop in these kind of stages is super simple and something that is great to see. So I've taken a couple of moments set up a basic, very, very basic multi-step form, styled it just so you can kind of see how easy and seamless it all is. So we've got our section at the top that tells us how far through our form that we currently are. This only has two stages at the moment, so we're 50% of the way through just by opening this up. So we'll put in my details and we'll put in my phone number and my email address. Once we've done that, we've got the next stage, and you can see now it tells us we're at 100% the form. We can drop our message in. We've got a GDPR acceptance form. We can jump back. We've styled the buttons. If I want to go back to the previous one, I can click to go back there. So you can see it's very simple, very seamless to work with. You've got error checking on every single stage. So if we get rid of that there and I try to move to the next stage, it tells us we can't until we've filled that information out. So all of those kinds of things are still completely built into the form, still built into each individual form entry field. All that stuff is still there. Like I say, really simple to use. Would be great to see the ability to have conditional logic in there, but right now this multi-step form as an extra step into what we can do with these forms as part of Elemental Pro. So that's my first look at 2.10 Beta, the multi-step form. Hopefully you found this useful. Hopefully this is something you've been looking forward to and this has kind of made you happy seeing this is exactly how it's been implemented. Anyway, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts. Until next time, take care.